10 fun poker facts you didn't know. Hello everyone, this is Cardmates. Poker is the game played by millions. Many films have been made about it. Many interesting stories and even legends exist. Poker took money from many players irrevocably and brought millions to someone. In today's video, we decided not to feed you with theory and statistics, but simply to talk about a couple of interesting cases in the history of this game. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel so as not to miss many interesting things. Let's go! Fact number 1. The longest game in history. 115 hours of continuous poker. Such a record during the 2010 WSOP was set by professional player Phil Locke. The previous record was set in 2009 by Paul Zimbler and was less than 75 hours. Initially, Phil was going to play 80 hours in a row to beat him, but it turned out differently. The record was set by him from 2 to 7 June 2010 at Bellagio cash tables with blinds $10, $20. Phil was allowed 5-minute breaks every hour of the game, which he could accumulate for a longer rest. He was that he did not consume caffeine and other stimulants during the game, and he managed to take a nap for at least half an hour. The game of luck was watched by dozens of people in the hall and more than 170,000 live online. As a result, his profit during the longest continuous poker marathon was $6,766. I would also like to mention another legend game that is not included in the list of records, because there is no reliable data about it. It took place in 1881 at Bird Cage Casino, located in the city of Tombstone, the U.S. state of Arizona. There was one table where players continuously played without breaks for 8 years, 5 months and 3 days. It is said that during this time about $10 million passed from hand to hand. Given the lack of adjustment for inflation, this is an amazing amount of money. The game was interrupted only after flooding the building due to adverse weather. There is information that historical figures such as Doc Holliday and George Hurst took part in that game. Fact number 2. Presidential Poker Politics and poker are very closely related. This is especially evident in the USA. Of the 45 US presidents, 20 played poker. The most famous poker player of them was the 37th President of the United States, Richard Nixon. Nixon, during his service in Navy, where he served for two months, won $6,000. If you convert this into modern money, the amount will be approximately equal to 42,000. He used the money for his campaign, which culminated in the presidency in 1964. Later, as happens with many poker players, Nixon tried to bite off more than he could chew, essentially deciding to make a bluff in a terrible situation. The Watergate scandal shook the entire United States and in the end cost Nixon his position. Although, at the same time, he was a little lucky because he managed to avoid imprisonment. Fact number 3. Ace in poker. The highest card is called Ace in English, which in turn comes from the old French word as with the meaning one. Historically, the Ace in the playing deck had the lowest value and was indicated by one, but over time, on the contrary, it became the dominant card. And in games like poker or blackjack, the player himself can choose the value of the ace. It can be the highest card or the lowest one. The French Revolution had a great influence on the priority of the ace. It began to symbolize the primacy of the ordinary man over kings. In addition to cards, the word ace began to apply to people who have reached the highest degree of mastery in their profession. Fact number 4. Let's decide with poker. And again. The United States and the close connection of poker with politics. The U.S. state of New Mexico has long been known for its interesting laws. In accordance with one of them, the result of elections for the mayor of any of the cities can be determined using any game if the candidates won an equal number of votes. This law found practical application about 20 years ago. In 1998, the election of the mayor of the town Estancia did not reveal for the winner James Farrington and John Carlson scored 68 vote both. James wanted to determine the winner with the help of poker, and John offered to roll the dice. In the end, they played poker. That is how James Farrington became mayor, in fact, winning his position thanks to the cards. Fact number 5. Thanks to poker for the sandwich. Do you know that sandwiches appeared thanks to addiction to the game? The Duke of Sandwich in England, Sir John Montague, 
was so addicted to card games that he ordered to serve food so that dinner would not distract him from the game. To make it easier to hold cards and eat at the same time, he ordered the servants to place the meat between two pieces of bread. That's how the first sandwich appeared. Fact number 6. Wallets of cards and suits Four great rulers correspond to four kings. King of spades is David, the famous king of Israel. The king of clubs is Alexander the Great, king of Macedonia. The king of hearts represents Charles the Great from the Carolingian dynasty. And finally, Caesar Augustus, the Roman emperor, appeared as the king of diamonds. It is also said that the four suits correspond to four classes of people. Spades correspond to the nobility, diamonds correspond to the merchants, clubs mean the peasants, and hearts mean the clergy. However, the history of cards is very extensive and before the classic 52-card deck with four suits was determined, there were many different variations of cards and suits. In different countries, they have their own history. Fact number 7. A bit of math. An interesting mathematical fact. Out of 52 cards of a standard card deck, you can collect 2,598,960 possible poker combinations. This number was obtained when calculated according to the standard combinatorics formula. Fact number 8. Hand of the Dead Man. In No Limit Hold'em, many pocket cards have nicknames. The most famous example is probably American Airlines or Pocket Rockets. But few people know that one made combination is called Dead Man's Hand. This is a combination of two pairs, two aces and two eights plus one unknown card. The hand got its nickname because it was precisely this combination that James Butler, Wild Bill Hickok, had when he was shot in the back during the game. Hickok was a national hero of the Wild West, and as legend has it, he won all the money from Jack McCall. Then Hickok advised McCall not to play it until his debts were paid, and even more, he offered him money for breakfast. McCall found this an insult and in anger shot Hickok in the head. Deck number 9. Metaphysics in Poker It is believed that a deck of playing cards has some metaphysical significance. So 52 cards represent 52 weeks of the year, 4 suits 4 seasons, 13 cards of the same suit, 13 phases of the lunar cycle. If you add up all the values of the cards in the playing deck, you get 364, like the days of the year. And if you add a joker, 365 days of the leap year. This metaphysical meaning of the card deck is much nicer than the roulette wheel, where when all the numbers are added together, you get the devilish number of 666. Fact number 10. How the term nuts appeared in poker. In poker, players call the best hand possible in this hand as nuts. The majority of players associate this term with nuts that can be eaten. But according to some experts, this is not so. This expression appeared in the Wild West, where players could not only bet all the money or chips into the center of the table, but also put more essential things such as a cart or a horse. When a player decided to make such a bet, he was required to twist the knots of the wheels and put them in the pot of the table, which not only symbolized his bet, but also did not give him the opportunity to quickly escape in case of defeat. These little details are called knots in English. This is where the term nuts came from, when a player is ready to bet the most valuable and that means the probably has the best hand at the moment. That's all for today. Write in the comments what interesting things you know about poker, what surprised you and what new things you learned for yourself. If you like the video, like it and subscribe to our channel so as not to miss many interesting things. It was Cardmates. Bye.